we're probably two and a half hours with two or three bunches. Do you see the horses they're talking about? When we, when we gather the horses, in this particular case, we need to gather, what, about 1,700 horses uh, just to bring the, the numbers back down to an appropriate management level. The horses that are coming in are gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. They're in fine flesh, nice and healthy. There was no emergency that required them to pull those horses off the range. When you hear about, well, you have hundreds of thousands of acres and you only have a few thousand horses, it's really hard to comprehend that they don't have enough to eat and drink. Uh, you, don't have the, you don't have the grasses that you have back east, and, and you don't have the water either. Springs are few and far between, and they do tend to dry up on a seasonal basis. Uh, if, if we wait too long to gather them, and they start to run out of food and water, um, then they start to, they, they get thin, you start to see the ribs more. Um, and at that point, when they do start to deteriorate physically, they'll go downhill really quick. And then it's really too late to gather them because in gathering them, if they're weak, um, you're putting more stress on the horses and then your mortality rates would go up significantly. Come right to your child. You might see if you guys can just push them up the wing. On the roundup techniques, particularly using a helicopter, um, it's dangerous. It's downright dangerous for the horses. Um, horses are run sometimes way too long in weather conditions that are not good for them. But what happens a lot of times, you can hear him over there, and he's really not bringing horses in. What he's doing is collecting collecting the horses, moving them down out of the pinyon pine and the juniper trees and getting them together. A common fallacy, people just assume that because he's up there um, that he must be bringing these horses in for miles and miles and miles away, but that's not the case. It takes a tremendous, tremendous amount of time to bring them down out of the trees. I'm not against the removal of excess wild horses. I am against the excess removal of horses also. The allotment of grazing, of the forage, is lopsided. The cattle, in most instances, have so much more forage than the horses. You know, they're a beautiful, a beautiful animal. They are magnificent, and they truly are unique to the West. And we are dedicated to managing these horses um, for the betterment of the horses. We want horses... And that, that are healthy and robust and, and that people can take pleasure in seeing, and that they can bring their children, their grandchildren, and see them. And uh, to do that, we just need to keep the horses uh, down to an appropriate management level. To me, they symbolize, I think like most people, they symbolize freedom. They've brought us a long, long way, and we're not paying the back properly for that.